This video is brought to you by Epic Engineering. Hello guys, this is Charles from Epic Engineering and in this video I'm going to show you a device. This is a device that we're going to use to test a series of UVC products in future videos. Now this device is called the UVC light meter. Its purpose is for measuring the intensity of UVC light at a certain measuring distance. It consists of two parts, a probe and a light meter. A probe is basically a sensor and on top of the sensor there is a filter that allows a very specific wavelength to go through and reaches the sensor underneath. In this case we're using the 254 nanometer wavelength filter meaning it only allows the 254 nanometer wavelength to go through. And at this point you may ask why 254 nanometers? Now first thing you need to understand is that the germicidal range of a UVC light is from 200 to 280 nanometers. And then if you look at the spectrum distribution of a low pressure mercury UVC lamp, you will see that 254 nanometers is a peak wavelength during that uh, uh, short range, meaning it puts out more 254 nanometer wavelength rays than any other rays. So people use 254 nanometers as an indicator to tell how strong or how efficient the UVC light is. So by no means should you understand the 254 nanometer wavelength as the only wavelength emitted from a UVC lamp. In fact, if that was the case, you wouldn't be able to see the light at all because UVC light is invisible to our naked eyes. Now that's on the probe. Now on the light meter, you will get a reading that tells you the intensity of the UVC light at that uh, measuring distance. It gives you three values of the intensity, the maximum, minimum, and average. The intensity is marked as P on this device, and uh, you can also choose to show or hide the energy value. The energy value accumulates over time. Now this device allows you to store nine sets of data which is super convenient if you want to keep track of the data and compare them later on. Now just to show you guys what I mean here, I'm going to demonstrate real quick using this pocket size UVC sterilizing wand. This sterilizing wand has two lights. It has a UVC lamp on this side and uh, an LED here on the bottom. Now to turn on the UVC light, just press and hold the button for two seconds. And there you go, the UVC light. To turn on the LED light, first of all, turn off the UVC lamp and press twice. That's the LED light, there you go. Now let's turn on the UVC lamp, press and hold for two seconds. And there we have the UVC lamp. And let's bring it closer to the probe. You will see we get a reading 400. The number keeps changing and uh, it keeps going up and that's because of the physics of these uh, low pressure mercury UVC lamp. It's going to take a few minutes for the intensity value to reach its peak and a steady level. For now it's just going to keep going up. If I bring this a little further away from the probe, you will see the value drops dramatically. And that's because the intensity value is inversely proportional to the distance squared. Meaning, if I double my distance, the value is going to drop to one fourth of its previous value, or one quarter of its previous value. That's all for the UVC lamp. Now let's do the LED. Press twice. Now the intensity value is back to zero. Press twice. And there we go. Bring it closer to the probe. You will see the number is zero. No matter how close I bring it. Right? And that's because this is an LED light. It's not a UVC light, even though from our perspective, this LED light is much, much stronger than um, the UVC light. 
And because this filter only allows the 254 nanometer wavelength to go through, and this LED light does not put out any 254 nanometer wavelength rays, so no matter how close I bring it, the number is always going to be zero. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you guys already have a general idea of what a UVC light meter is. Um, and if you guys are interested, you can go to our Alibaba online store or you can contact us by sending emails to us directly. Thanks for watching.